All aboard the hype train. Oh, Jesus. Well, let's come down to it. We've had many beers we've never had on this show. That sounds stupid, but... <laughs> um, Did sound stupid. Yeah. Uh, we haven't had Monkish yet, though. Uh, and um, I also haven't given you a present oh, you know show in a while either. Let's, let's restart that. Oh, sorry. Okay. Let's not restart that. What is this? Some old school kind of a Star Wars toy. That's amazing. Where'd you get this? I found it somewhere. In your in your, in your trash? Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> no, it is awesome. I found that at a store. That's so cool. Like a, um, some old collector store. That's so cool. And it has the Darth Vader helmet off so you can put it back on if you opened it. I'm not gonna open it. But you, if you if you open it, you could. Mike, there's a crease right there. Oh Jesus! <laughs> then fucking return it. I'm kidding. Oh yeah, we're doing a new camera thing. Yeah, see, I I, I wasn't gonna say cut and redo it because when I hit record on that, it made a sound. But now it doesn't matter because we've already talked over. No, everyone probably already forgot about the sound, and now it just brought it back up again. <laughs> <laughs> this will go good down here, and all the other awesome Star Wars stuff. It's weird because it doesn't have that, that card in the top. I was actually just going to ask that. Where, why? why? I, I don't know. I, it what, might have been part of a different set. What year did this come out? Is this, is, oh, it's just Escape the Death Star game. Uh, I don't know. But either way, I found it somewhere. I thought it was cool. Uh, it is cool. I love it. So, there it's you go. Badass. And I, it actually sort of looks like a like came Mark Hamill a little bit. Both, both, loose, both, both color of Luke's lightsabers. Yep. Sweet. Put that right with Yoda. There you go. Maybe not. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's good for now. <laughs> um, so yeah, hype train. Yeah, all aboard. Monkish. Um, we've had monkish collabs. Yep. Never had straight monkish because to get straight monkish is difficult is, for us. If you guys trade beers online, it's it's a pain in the ass to get monkish. Apparently, like they ask for craziness and. Oh well, yeah, well people ask like for really unfair trades. Yeah. Um, and I guess they and, and I and I guess this isn't really a, a shot at them. Like they just say, "Hey, releasing a beer today. Get down here in five minutes or whatever." Like whatever works for them. I, I guess. guess. Yeah, I guess it works. Um, it's just like yeah. it's just like honestly, like Treehouse doing their fucking secret releases. Yeah, that's valid. You know. Um, yeah, we I, we never really tried. I never really tried to get Monkish too hard. Like I, I tried a little bit, but I didn't go like crazy to try to get it. And then we had some Treehouse left over, and I just threw up. Hey, we have some Treehouse. We really want to try some Monkish, and. Uh, People wanted that treehouse, and I've asked for treehouse. Said we had treehouse before, and no one really cared. Yeah, but this was this is our first like special release treehouse. Oh, All the other right. stuff is it was hot, yeah, yeah. Um, and we had a few offers to get a couple cans, but we would have to ship them. And then we had one one offer that actually the guy lived a town over from us, and I was like, I don't know, that's just fucking easier. Yeah, it's way easier. <laughs> let's yeah. just get this one can, and then let's just see what what this is about. So this is Monkish's double IPA. This is their glamour glitters and gold um it's apparently dry hopped well it's apparently hopped with all citra um and you know how we feel about citra love citra torrance california brooding can monkish brewing um this is um canned on 929 today is 1027 so just under a month yeah and a few of the reviews i've seen said it could it was a little green or not just a little so they said maybe if we want to let it sit let it sit but let's get this into a glass. I'm super excited. Here you go, sir. Lost it right off there. Um, not that substantial head considering the aggressiveness. Uh, I wish I poured this. But, you know, got that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a little darker than regular pineapple juice. Maybe yeah, it's more orange it's pineapple. Just, yeah, it's, it's like um, it almost looks like um, you know, like one of those uh, orange-based tropical yeah uh, juice punches cocktail sort of punch yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. But the head dissipated really quickly. Mine's almost gone already. Yeah, eight point three percent. I guess that's to be expected. Yeah. From the alcohol, like the legs are just kind of going away quick. Yep. So we get a nose. Yeah, that's it. Whoa. Hmm. This reminds me of an amalgamation of Trillium and Treehouse. A little bit, yeah. Like you're getting that like greeniness of fresh Treehouse beer. Yeah. But then I'm also getting a little bit of that almost ambrosia salad I get in a lot of Treehouse beers. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's, it's yeah, it's 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 fruity, but you can 
you can tell this is like a hop bomb. Hopped, hopped on yeah, yeah. bomb, yeah. Right. Yeah, let's see. Is the hype real? Are we gonna get kicked off the hype train in about hype train in about two seconds? Let's find out. Okay, that's a good beer. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, that's really good. Um, now, I don't want to say like, this is probably going to come off weird, but it's really good. And I'm going to go into it in a minute, but I just kind of want to elephant in the room. I've had beers on equal levels of this. Oh, yeah, a bunch of times, yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like, um, I feel like the, there's a little edge of booziness on this mm-hmm. that, um, if it wasn't there, it would be a significantly improved beer. Yeah. Because you're definitely getting that burst of citrus. You're getting that, yep. that super sweetness. And you're getting that bitterness, but then you're getting that booze. Yeah, and, and, and you get almost that, that round kind of fruitiness, that smooth. Yep. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's really nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've had beers this, this good before. Yeah. You know? And I, I'm just, I, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what the hype really is about. Is it? Yeah. Well, we, we, is it just, it's hard to get? Is yeah. It, um, I don't know, maybe if you get them all the time, this, you know, I'm sure that this is this this is one beer, right? Like, but like all the collabs we've had have been, you know, yeah. But no, this is good. Um, what are you getting on on your flavor here, right? your palate? I'm getting like I'm getting like earthiness, a little bit of peppery hop, like a little bit of pepper. Yeah, that. actually, I was trying to pick that. Yeah, I'm yeah. almost like peppercorn. Yeah. Yep. Um. Just a burst of that, like of juicy citrus that you can get. You can tell this is this is a citra hot beer, right? Like, yeah, it's almost like tangerineish. Like yep. it's like a sweeter, yep. sweeter than orange, but it's in that 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 wheelhouse of uh, citrus. Um, it has uh, the mouth feels not quite creamy, no, but it's it's smooth. I get a little bit of a prickly uh, um, carbonation. Yep, but it, it's definitely on. Um, it's not even that it's boozy. But it's there's something about that it's just aftertaste a, that lingers in this the, weird. Yeah, a little more alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yep. Um, I, mean, I mean, I've had way boozier beers at this alcohol level. Yeah. I'm not. That, that's. It's not even. Um, like I feel like we're dumping on this beer a little bit, but it's really, really good. No, it is really good. I think it's just uh, I'm just more like I would like given the hype and stuff like yeah. that. It's like I was expecting like my eyes to pop out of my head. Um, I don't know. Maybe like let it warm up for a little bit. Like sometimes when you when these warm up a little bit, they like. Yeah, but I mean, I, I think Get that fruitier and I think that we're not being that fair. No, I think like, you're right. I, I'm talking about the things that that aren't that great about it when when there are so many things that are great. about I know, this yeah, beer. I know. Like, like, like we're trying to make a point to. Well, it's not. It's not even that. It's just I think that that the the um, based on its reputation, the the um, the errant qualities are that much more amplified. Yeah, you know, but like yeah. realistically, this is a fucking really good beer. Oh, you know, it's fantastic. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, the things I love about it, yeah, I I love that that like that, that tropical citrus that you said, like like in, in the roundness of the fruit that's coming through. You yeah. can definitely tell it's citra. You really don't get any any real malt at all. Nope. It's just like super sweet, super super tropical, and then you do get that little bit of bitterness that kind of gives way to that little bit of like alcohol in the back. And yeah, dissipates. but the bitterness I think is good because it, it it almost it, it it almost uh it cuts the sweetness out a little bit. You yeah. know, it finishes nice, but it's just kind of dry. But it, it almost gives that that little bit of booziness on the back that mm-hmm. that isn't mega pleasant. You know. Yep. Um, but I, I I like I like how um how fruity it is without it being like like um without it being like reminiscent of what you um like the. I will say, yeah, I think I know where you're going with this. Right. You get you're getting this like fruity sweetness that I usually only get in some treehouse beers. Yep. Like when you get like a say for a trillium or another half, you're getting it's still a juice bomb, but not the same not way. in a sweet sense. This more leans towards like a treehouse beer than But but it doesn't taste like a treehouse beer. No, but but, but it's in that in that wheelhouse. Yeah, I get exactly yep. what you're trying to get there with like yeah. that. Yeah, there's a little bit I was of trying to say it without it being uh, diminutizing this yeah yeah because no and it's a good thing it's like i, I actually really really really, yeah, really it, enjoy this yeah because i feel like a lot of times the juice bombs are basically like um breweries um trying to mimic what treehouse does and this is not even making that attempt it's just no. it, it it literally is its own sort of um juicy-ish bomb yeah yeah it's really good 
Yeah, I'm digging it. Okay. Um, okay. All that being said. All that being said. <laughs> uh, honestly, I, I think this is a four and a half. That's I where I would put it. I was going to say four and three quarters, but. Oh, you, you would go that high? I was thinking it. Like, a, 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 the more I was talking to it. Um, the more, all the beautiful things you're getting out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I can go to four and three quarters. I can meet you at four and a half. Though. Okay. I'll, I'll, if, 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 if you can't go there, I'll meet you at four and a half and just. Yeah, I mean, there's, 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 really no point doing, difference. there's no point in doing a double <laughs> uh, double score of that. Like, it's a really beautiful, very very um, bright and um, yeah, it, it has a really nice quality. I, and actually, every sip I have is, a, is a, it's more um, it's more pleasant. It, it yeah, it's, it's, it's I think it's, I think my my palate's acclimating to it because these aren't beers I usually it's have. It's more bursting with flavor. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm getting out of it too. I think it's also that that, that it's warming up and, and it's opening up more. Yeah, and usually if it warms up, usually you get more booziness. I'm actually sort of getting less. Yeah, which is weird. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So Nerd Sense four and a half for Monkish's Glamour Glitters in Gold. Their eight point two percent Citra hopped double IPA. Um, let us know in the comments if you've had this. Let us know. Excuse me. Let us know what you think of the uh, Monkish hype train. Uh, let us know what you think of Monkish in general. Um, does it live up to the hype compared to other, you know, Northeast style IPA breweries? And I know they're not an explicitly a IPA brewery. Do you know that they, they started like as more like a soury? I believe I it, but I, I didn't know. No. Yeah. Um, I feel like a lot of there's like been a few of them that start off as doing like wild and sour beers that as IPAs grow in popularity, they're like, well, people their are focus buying them. Shifted. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let us again. Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, let us know if you had this. And um, and honestly, like to reiterate, I really don't think we gave this beer as just to until the very end. Mm-hmm. It, it, and I feel like kind of a dick about it. I agree. But, um, but I don't know. I, I think I just want to kind of like like, like I said earlier. I was like, I wanted the, the elephant in the room is the hype train and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Like mm-hmm. I, I, I didn't want to come out of the gates like sucking the beer's dick. <laughs> 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 Honest, like just in case, like like I. I was super like 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 my bar was super high for this beer, but, oh, yeah. but I, I also wanted to be super reserved just in case. Like, yep. Um, and, and part of me didn't. Part of me was scared I was going to be disappointed and be like, "Well, this isn't that good at all." And I maybe I came across like that in the beginning of the review when I was well, like, "I, I, I want to say this first. I've had beers that are just like good, as good as this." Like, I, and I wasn't. I guess it probably comes off really bad, but I think a lot of that video came out pretty bad. Sorry, it's not what I meant. It's yeah. not what it, it's. It is what it is. You read, read this because there's, there's been a few videos where I look back and I'm like, what the fuck were we thinking? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this and, one's on me, probably. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not saying I followed you through the door. No, but I, I might have. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. So again, yeah, let us know how this, and then let us know in the comments how this came off. Like <laughs> we were assholes, <laughs> we dicks. Um, and yeah, again, just like if you watch the Look at Juicy video, let me know what you think of the new setup. Probably gonna change it a little bit. We're gonna give Mike one of these too. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, please, please, please subscribe. And then um, nerdtense.net from there, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, all the other awesome places we're at. I'm Sean. I'm Mike, and, and this, this is Nerd Sense Drinks. Okay. That was a nice.